In this final project presentation, our team, The Epidemics, presents our application for asthma control. The project is submitted as partial fulfillment of the requirements for CS 6440, Enter to Health Informatics at the Georgia Institute of Technology. For this deliverable, we will provide an update of the overall project and then finish with a full demonstration of the app. From our initial research, we learned that there are approximately 22 million Americans with asthma. Of U.S. patients, 6 million are children. The number of diagnoses continues to grow. The World Health Organization reports that there are approximately 250,000 annual deaths from asthma. Almost all of these deaths are avoidable. For our project, we aimed to leverage interoperable technologies with the objective of assisting physicians in ascertaining patient risk, assessment, and self-management of asthma. This application is designed to offload the time-consuming work typically required of physicians using paper records to computer servers that can use fire as a communication layer between patient and healthcare provider and ultimately save lives through improved care. Our team worked with a group of external mentors from the CDC. Under their guidance, we built an application that provides state-of-the-art methods provided by the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute's EPR3 standard for risk assessment and self-management of this disease. We utilize the JIRA platform for project management, task assignment, and tracking. Our team conducted meetings twice per week to discuss task progress and planning. In this submission, we have completed all of the items specified in the Gantt chart for our project. Our external mentor group provided requirements for the application, including a workflow to provide clinical decision support. Our team conceived of an application to meet these requirements while mirroring the vision championed by the FIRE standard, a cross-platform app that provides interoperability. This was accomplished by using a technology stack that can be deployed on the web and used on any desktop or portable computer, tablet, or smartphone, allowing greater reach than the paper records in a hospital. This means that when patients use our app, they can input vital information that can be sent to healthcare providers. The patient will be able to see the assessment and be informed about the level of risk and disease cells management. When the healthcare provider receives the information, they can use the in-app recommendations for clinical decision support for maintaining or adjusting patient therapy. Finally, this information can be attached to the patient's electronic health record and transmitted using the HL7 FIRE standard. Our application was tested and validated by our external mentor group throughout the course of its development to verify functionality and usability through our regularly scheduled demo meetings. Through these meetings, we received valuable feedback on how our potential users would understand and utilize the app. Our focus was to create a user-friendly application that could be used by anyone with little to no assistance. An assessment can be completed in under five minutes, promoting a low friction experience that hopefully encourages patients to use this regularly for their continued care. To augment this experience, we are submitting a tutorial and installation instruction guide. One of our local Atlanta team members is committed to helping with any installation issues on site at the CDC if required. In concert with our external mentors, we work to add some innovations in the user interface. One example being a graphical indicator of risk control or impairment that is visible at the end of completing an assessment. Additionally, our application supports the import of patient data from FHIR. The CDC has indicated that they are planning on demonstrating this application to other physicians to widen the user base and that they want to explore scaling this type of application to other ailments in order to lay a foundation for future work, perhaps in future iterations of this course.